جب حجاب پردہ غیبت اٹھایا جائے گا ایک دن وہ آئے گا اے ڈاکٹر ہی ہیز کمپلیٹڈ ہز ماسٹرز ان اورتھوپیڈک سرجری فرام بامبے ہاسپٹل ہی از اے کنسلٹن اورتھوپیڈک سرجن ان ساؤتھ ممبئی اینڈ تھانے اینڈ ہز ٹاپک از is the long life of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam compatible with medical sciences? He shall be speaking in English. Let's welcome Dr. Kumail Sajjad Hussain Nathani Sahab. A'uzu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahman ar-Rahim. Regards to Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Bismillahir Rahman ar-Rahim. Al-lazina yu'minuna bil ghaib. Surah Baqarah, verse 3. Those who believe in the unseen. This unseen year means that he will have a prolonged occultation. This brings to my topic, long life of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam in today's era and its compatibility with medical science. So Imam Mahdi was born on 15th Shaban 255 Hijri and for today if we calculate his age it would be around 1187 years plus 135 days so this question gives a mystery to us so for whatever information we have or knowledge regarding the longevity of Imam alayhi salam and his family is very minimal but the phenomenal phenomenal advances in medical science we will get breakthrough in this as well in future so let me divide my talk into few parts we will start with few facts definitions we will learn few concepts and we will use those in the examples of day-to-day -day life and uh, we will see what research articles have to say about it and then finally we will conclude our lecture so what is the definition of longevity simply means long existence or life expectancy so if i plan a total knee replacement today the first thing my patient will ask me is how long this knee will survive that's what longevity means Second part, death, that's the end of life. But the question here is, can I give an exact number or a figure when this particular person will die? No. But yes, what I can give is the estimate of what range a person can live looking at the factors around in his day-to-day -day life but there will always be some exceptions or outliers. Now, let me give you a few examples. Jane from France, 122 years and 164 days. Jeromen Kumara from Japan, he lived for 116 years and 54 days. A Turkish doctor, Dr. Zaro, 170 years and 133 days. These are the examples of human being with high longevity but these are all dead now let me come for today's date 29th jan 2022 kane tanaka 119 years lucille randin 117 years still breathing today so i have a good amount of list here but i don't want to give it right now a similar topic was covered with multiple professors being giving the same talk but were context to Holy Quran. I will use their summary to strong arm my point a little bit here. Prophet Adam alayhi salam, 930 years. His son, she is 912 years. Hazrat Khizr, Hazrat Isa, in Surah Ankabut, verse 14, certainly we sent Nu to his people and so he will remain among them for thousand, say, 50 years. It says 2,500 years approximately. Now, let, 
we bring this point scientifically. There is something called as a concept of inheritance. We say that a grandson looks like his grandfather. We say sometime a granddaughter looks like his grand uh, grandmother. Karbala me, Janabe Ali Akbar was a complete shabi of Rasul Khuda. This genetic makeup is transferred to his progeny, right? Then this family can't give the same genetic makeup to my imam, right? Now, let's see a new concept of delaying death. It simply means to increase the longevity of life. Now there is one concept called as Ikigai. It's a Japanese concept which means a long and a happy life. This means that a person should have a sense of purpose, should have aim of life, should have a reason of living and should pursue a passion. He should get a basic motivation during his dark times. Now in 2012, this Ikigai concept was studied and the results were published in Global Journal of Health Science. What it states that a person who has a feeling of Ikigai has less risk of cardiovascular diseases. In other ways, delaying death. Second example, my professor, during my days of residency in orthopedics, he taught me one thing that the concept of vitamin D and bone tuberculosis. At that time, we didn't have too many medicines to treat bone tuberculosis. The patients used to be very miserable. So for that, doctor says, please, let's go ahead towards the mountain and live whatever life you have, stress-free. Shockingly, those patients come back again. <laughs> then we went back again to see what is going on there. So what we found was good nature, sunlight, fresh air, forms vitamin D and which helps in bone healing. Simple and sweet. So this is the concept of delaying death with fresh air, less pollution, good nutrition and a stress-free life. School, botany lectures. We were taught plants are also living creatures. Let me give you a few examples and run away fast. Quaking Espen found in the National Park of Sanyan, 80,000 years old. Jurapa oak, at least 13,000 years old. The oldest living species is somewhat 4,600 years old. It's a pine tree named as Pinus and Stata seen in California. One recent article says an organism was found 24,000 years old frozen in Siberia. Lastly, these bacteria, viruses, what we see, spores. We are studying the decaying process of it. And we have seen some spores 240 million years ago. Those are found in New Mexico. So what I want to say is, long life may be improbable, but it is not impossible. Now one example, a jellyfish. It's known as Turritopsis duri. Scientists have mentioned it's an immortal one. Immortal. But Quran, Surah Ali Imran, 185, 185th ayat. Kullo nafsin zai katal maut. Then how come we say immortal and Quran says this? Yes, this organism can be eaten up by a predator. Yes, if left alone may be immortal, but yes, can be eaten up and meet the dead, right? One more example in a medical life. Lina Medina, she gave a birth to a child at the age of five. The complete article is available on Google. But medically speaking, this is merely impossible. But yet we have an example to it as well. So nowadays we have medicines, anti-aging drugs, antioxidants, which we give to prolong life. One more thing. Stem cell therapy. Nowadays, it's a recent advances in the medical field. Now, these special type of cells can develop into different, different types of cells. These are harvested from our own body itself. So, the previous cancers or med uh, diseases which were untreatable, we are trying to treat tho those diseases with this particular therapy. And it says that if you preserve these cells properly, then 
it may live infinitely there is a theory of regeneration liver has a capacity to regenerate his own cells completely okay so all these points were medical points now i am coming to my conclusion prolonged life is impossible i am saying yes for a careless person who does not have a good diet poor nutrition stays in a stressful environment and almighty is wish yes it is impossible prolonged life is possible yes it is possible i have given you examples of people living more than 100 years i have given you a countless number of people and i am still looking for other people to come into this list again now these three points are very important prolong life unnaturally possible that has not been actualized these are the old centuries where we don't have much documentations but yet we know that botany plants and all which i mentioned are quite old 1800 years 1300 years or so prolong life unnaturally possible but has been actualized in past that's what the holy prophets family from quran we can prove their ages let me change one word here one word from past tense to present tense prolong life unnaturally possible and has been act- actualized in a present tense that is my imam and when i speak of imam his title sir just mentioned is hujjat means the proof of allah and for allah nothing is impossible nothing is complicated nothing is difficult nothing is improbable he is omnipotent that means nobody can hinder the implementation of his commands final statement if you hear something strange or wonderful but you cannot establish a reason for it then let it remain in the realm of possibility thank you allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ali muhammad thank you on behalf of 12 talks our token of appreciation thank you sir thank you interesting insights by dr komel nathani sahab where uh, summarizing his speech he spoke about the long life of imam mahdi alaihi salam compatible with medical science or not he gave examples of human beings living over 100 years in current uh, times he gave the example of hazrat adam hazrat khizr alaihi salam and spoke about inheriting the genes of longevity from the prophet he also gave us the concept of delaying death in medical science gave us the examples of plants living for thousands of years very interesting thank you very much for a wonderful speech sadaqallahu alayhi Oh, oh, oh.